Janes Puch. He was born in 1862, Austrian Empire. Johan Puch or Janes in Slovenia was born on the 27th of June 1862 to Slovene peasants at house number 79 in Sakušak near Tui. Today his museum is very close to his birthplace. This was part of the Lower Styria, Slovenia. He was the son of the cottager Franz Puch and Agnes Seizerl Puch and he was baptized Johann Puch the same day in Jurschinci, the eldest son of nine children. He left his family home at the age of eight and at twelve apprenticed as a locksmith in Ptui. Having finished his training in 1877, he moved to Styrian capital Graz where he did his military service and from 1885 worked for several employers. He contracted on bicycle manufacturing and soon became a noted specialist. On 18 September 1889 he married Maria Anna Reinshuber at the cathedral in Graz. In 1889 Puch traveled to a bicycle trade fair in Leipzig where he concluded a contract with Thomas Humbers Cycle Company. The rest, it's all about his success. Janes Puch was an inventor, an industrialist, a racer, a lover of technology and a great talent. Today we have a museum dedicated to him, a museum that focuses on his achievements as well as his birthplace and life. Janes Puch was born in Prlekia, in Sakušak. We Slovenians can be proud of him. He became the founder of the Austrian Puch automobile plants, then one of the most significant vehicles producers in Europe. The company started producing motorcycles in 1903 and automobiles in 1904. By 1912 Puch factory employed 1100 workers and manufactured 300 cars, 300 motorcycles and 16,000 bicycles per year. He retired in 1912, but remained honorary president of the company. Puch's motorcycles and cars were successful in races and rallies all over Europe and carried his name among vehicles producers. From 1934, the tradition was continued by the Steyr Daimler Puch company in Graz and Vienna. Up to 1914, Puch developed 21 different types of cars and also lorries, buses, military and some other special vehicles including sedan, limousines for the Imperial Habsburg family. He successfully obtained patents for more than 35 inventions and improvements. This is the story of a great man. The museum is managed by the association Društvo Rojaka Janeza Puha. I recommend a visit. In fact, this is a must for any motorcycle and tech enthusiast.
He was a craftsman, industrialist, automotive pioneer and a great inventor. Like I said, we Slovenians can be proud of him.